Good morning everyone. My name is Vijay Gupta and you are watching Biology Classes. So students, welcome to all of you in this lecture of Biology. Today I am going to tell you about the human thorax. As we all know that currently I am making all my videos related to human skeleton system. Now in this lecture I will tell you about the human thorax, about the sternum and about the ribs. So first of all, what about the position? What is the position of our thorax? Our thorax in our skeletal system, our thorax is situated uh, in the trunk region and it forms the anterior part of the trunk. And our thorax mainly made up of two types of bones which are known as a sternum and ribs. So one by one I will tell you about both the bones. As you can see in this modified diagram of human skeletal system, this is our thorax. And this thorax consists of a central bone which is a flat and tie shaped bone that is called as the sternum and with this sternum there are total 12 pairs ribs are attached at both the side 12 in this side and 12 in this side so total there are total 12 pairs of ribs are attached to the sternum the these ribs are attached to the sternum in front while the back side it attached to the vertebral column so the front part of ribs is known as the uh, sternal ribs while the back part of the ribs is known as the vertebral portion of the ribs so these ribs are connect to the vertebral column in back side and sternum to the front side thus a cage like a structure is formed that is called the thoracic cage or the ribs cage and inside this ribs cage our soft organs such as heart kidneys blood vessel etc are protected so now i will tell you about these bones in the theory our thorax mainly consists of two main parts as i told you before the one is sternum and the second is ribs so first of all we we'll, i'm going to tell you about the sternum a sternum is a flat tie shaped bone okay so this is the sternum it is a flat and tie shaped bone it is present on the mid ventral side of our thoracic cage as i told you it's a thoracic cage and we have both the surfaces in our body that one this one is the dorsal side while this one is the ventral side so in the ventral side at the midline on the ventral side on the midline the sternum is present the situation of a sternum is mid ventrally okay so it is situated mid on the side of our thoracic cage it consists of three main parts the sternum consists of three main parts the upper rounded part is known as manubrium the middle longer part is known as the body of a sternum while the lower most and a small process like a structure that is the ziphoid process and all these three structures are collectively known as the sternum so these are the sternum so it uh, consists of three main parts manubrium body and ziphoid process it connects to the ribs by a costal cartilage the ribs are not directly connect to the sternum they connect to the sternum with the help of cartilage and this as i shown in red colored in this diagram and this cartilage is known as the costal cartilage so the ribs consist of costal cartilage and with this costal cartilage the ribs are attached with the sternum so it is the costal cartilage now the ribs cage uh, and to form the ribs cage thus a ribs cage is formed with the hollow structure which protect our soft organs such as heart lungs blood vessels etc so this thoracic cage consists of our lungs heart and it will protect all these soft organs now next is ribs the important thing about the ribs that ribs are of three types on the attachment on the basis of attachment with the sternum the ribs can be categorized into three main types number one true ribs what is the meaning of true ribs when the ribs are directly attached to the sternum first seven pairs as you can see in this diagram one two three four five six and seven these seven pairs of ribs are directly attached to the sternum hence they are called true ribs so simple definition of true ribs those ribs which are directly connect to the sternum are known as true ribs now as you can see pair number eight nine and ten these three pairs of ribs are first attached with the seventh pair of ribs with the help of a cartilage and then they attach to the sternum so they are not directly attached to the sternum hence they are known as the false ribs both the sides there are three pair and three pair false ribs which pairs are eight eighth pair nine and ten pair so those ribs which are not directly attached to the sternum they attach to the sternum with the help of a seventh rib is known are known as the false ribs now the last are last two pairs last two pairs 11 and 12 
these are known as floating ribs these ribs never attach with the sternum so these are known as post sorry floating ribs from the back side it uh, they are connect with the vertebral column but anterior side it is not connect to the sternum so those ribs which do not connect with the sternum are termed as the floating ribs they remain in the floating condition okay so now i will tell you about these ribs true ribs the first seven pair ribs are directly attached with the sternum are termed as the true ribs false ribs the eighth ninth and tenth pairs of ribs are not directly attached with the sternum are uh, known as the false ribs they are firstly attached with the seventh ribs as i told you before they are firstly attached with the seventh ribs with the help of, of a cartilage with the help of a color cartilage which i have shown with red color in this diagram and attached to the sternum and then finally they will attach to the sternum with the help of seventh pair of ribs so these are called the false ribs now the last one floating ribs the last two pairs the last two pairs which one 11th and 12th of of remain free anteriorly are called the floating ribs they remains free and at the anterior side so they are known as the floating ribs so it was all about the sternum and the ribs i hope all the things are very clear to you now we'll talk about the functions of human thorax the functions of our sternum and the ribs so it was all about the human thorax the sternum about the ribs i think all the things are very clear to you still if you have any type of question any query any doubt you may ask in the comment section i will try my best to reply you in this video that's it so thanks for watching have a good day